Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Jesse here with another Little Wolf podcast, a little step behind the scenes. So what am I doing here on the screen right now? I'm actually testing out a model and a rig that I created recently. Whenever you create these models, you do need to test them out to animate them to make sure that everything works properly. And I figure this is a good opportunity to do a little storytelling and to just have a little fun with it. It's a proof of concept. I'm keeping it rough. I'm keeping it unpolished. It's not going to be for anything final, but it's a little bit of fun for me and it's a little bit of fun for you. Obviously, it's a giant mosquito. Why a giant mosquito? Well, of course, because it's part of Native American folklore. Uh, this one comes from uh, an Iroquois tale uh, about the origins of mosquitoes. And in that tale, there were originally two, only two mosquitoes, and they were gigantic. And they terrorized villages and uh, ate up people, and like it was a it was a horrible, horrible problem and a horrible issue. So, uh, one village formed a hunting party, and they went down the river in their canoes, and they got attacked by the giant mosquitoes. The they they pierced the canoes with their big old beak like mouths, and you know, and started tearing up the uh, the 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 warriors. And they fought, and it was a losing battle. So they fled into the woods, which was an excellent tactical decision because the uh, the mosquitoes were so large that they had very they were it was very difficult for them to move around in there. And then the uh, warriors, you know, they seized that opportunity. They shot their arrows as much as they could, and eventually felled the uh, the giant monsters. And you know, upon killing them, the uh, uh, one of their one of their stomachs burst open, and out of that flew a million tiny mosquitoes. And they said, "You've killed our parents. We will have our revenge." And that's the story of why mosquitoes are number one so prevalent, so all over the place, and number two why they uh, why they bite people and drink their blood, that sort of thing. That's a fun little tale, and it's and God, you know, I mean. Look at any insect up close, and they become immediately just even more disgusting and creepy and that sort of stuff. So that's definitely the sort of thing that I'm going for here. I think that'd be a super fun tale to have, you know, to have that sort of uh, monster, particularly in the world of Little Wolf. And so that's the, the direction I'm going towards. And I'm really having fun modeling these characters, rigging them, animating them, all that sort of stuff. And I'd like to share them with you uh, uh, if possible. Hopefully I don't spoil too much by showing these stuff, these things off, but, uh, but you know, I mean, one, one problem at a time, you know, I do think it's fun to be able to share some of this stuff with you. But anyways, that's all for this round of, uh, the Little Wolf podcast. Uh, keep tuning in. I want to answer your questions. I want to talk more about the, uh, the, the backstory and the inspiration and, you know, all the things that, uh, that are making this a special project for me. And, uh, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.